Uno. Boys, first of all, good to see you. Ruben, you're looking surprisingly fresh considering you've had two training sessions today. How does that work? <laughs> no, this one was light and fun, so it's easy to look fresh in that. But um, yeah, this morning was tough. Um, but I think we feel fit, I feel fit, so just carry on building on that. Good. Callum, we're going to talk training in a minute, but I want to start off by asking about your summers, because you had a pretty interesting one going to Ghana. Tell us about the trip and how that came about. Me and my mum and dad were talking about it. I thought, let me go back, and then obviously the reception there was amazing, especially we just won the Champions League as well, so the reception there was beautiful. It's going back home, seeing everybody there, which is a nice feeling as well, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. You mentioned the reception. Some of the stuff you post on social media was, was fantastic. Did it surprise you just how well it went? Yeah, to be fair, I thought to myself, you know, it was going to be a bit more calm because obviously you were going back there, I thought it was going to be relaxed and chilled. But everywhere we went, it was just like a lot of fans that support Chelsea, mm. which is an amazing feeling as well. So it was nice. I enjoyed every bit of it. When I got there to the airport, there was people there already dancing and everything, which was good. So like I said there was a good vibe, good times and obviously, yeah, back to football now. Absolutely. And how was your summer? Quite, quite relaxed in comparison? Yeah, it was relaxed. The, I um, had a, a little bit longer than usual. Um, that's a rarity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I enjoyed it with my family. Yeah, that's why I feel fit now and yeah, relaxed and mentally fresh, ready to go. Absolutely. And Cal, did you get a chance to watch any of the Euros? Yeah, definitely. I think I watched every single game. Did really well to get to the final. Obviously, it was unfortunate that we lost the game. But as I said, they done really well. And as I said, it was a good, good tournament to watch as well. Same for you, Ruben. Chance to, to watch them. You must be pretty proud yeah. of what they achieved. No, I, I enjoyed it. Um, so proud, proud of the boys. So, just falling short at the end. I was so gutted, so drained after that game. <laughs> so much. It's worse watching it. Is like, it really? So much yeah, like, nerves, true. like anxiety, especially with the penalties as well. But World Cup coming up soon, oh, yeah. so hopefully we do it then. Ruben, you touched on it. Obviously a busy year for you last year, going out on loan yeah. to Fulham. How beneficial was that for you, coming back from the injury and getting that regular game time? I thought, I thought it was the most important for me at that time. Yeah, I came back from injury, didn't feel Myself didn't feel powerful, um, you know, wasn't running past people. I felt like I lost a lot of muscle and, and power. So, yeah, I felt like I needed to get away and, and play as much football as possible. And, mm. and you know, I, I got that. It's good. It's good to see you back. Cal Rubin touched on it there. The injury is almost surreal, wasn't it? Two, I guess, similar injuries to happen within weeks of each other. Yeah, it was crazy that Ruben did it like two, three weeks after me as well, which I said to him before when he went as well. I said, don't get injured. Mm. I tried to tell him, don't get injured because this injury here, it's not a nice feeling at all. As you said, it takes a long time to come back, feel yourself, feel powerful, feel like you can drive past players. A lot of gym work and a lot of fitness work has helped us really well with that as well. Did you find you bounced off each other throughout that recovery process? Yeah, it got, it got to a point where it was kind of doing similar things. I was Cal, Cal was a bit ahead of me, but Cal yeah. was progressing really well and I wanted to be like right behind Cal. <laughs> so I wanted up, to yeah. do the same things, but sometimes it don't, it don't work like that. So mm. mine took a bit longer, which I had to kind of be patient. But the two of you have always had such a really good bond. Cal, how long have you, you two known each other? From academy days, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Even though he was, obviously he's older than me, yeah. watching him playing higher up as well was obviously a good motivation for me. As, as I said, I think that for him, he stepped into the first team early as well, which is obviously what I wanted to do as well. So when I was watching him, I was thinking, you're doing, you're doing well, mm. so I, I want to get there as well. So as I said, it was nice obviously knowing that we've had that bond all the way yeah. through and obviously when we're here as well, we have that good connection on the pitch and off the pitch as well. So it's good. Yeah, no, I, I first saw Cal in the, in the Youth Cup, I think, and he, he scored yeah, right in the top corner. I don't know who's that. Is he City? Yeah, City. Yeah, uh, and then since then, um, coming in with Sari and doing so well in the Europa League and stuff. So, yeah, credit to Cal. Absolutely. Um, you had a great year, didn't you, under Sarri, before, before the injury. It's incredible, with coming back for pre-season of Thomas Tuchel, I think this is your sixth manager now that you'll have, you'll have worked mm. under. Do you, do you feel that you have to adapt and change your game depending on, on the manager? Uh, yeah, possibly, depending on where he sees you playing. Um, you can't play the same way. Obviously, you have your traits and what makes you you as a footballer, but yeah. um, depending on how the manager wants you to play, where he wants you to play, you're going to have to adapt. Um, but yeah, still keep your main characteristics. You seem way. to have, have hit it off quite well already in pre-season. It's a nice thing. Yeah, he, no, he seems very relaxed and um, a you know, confident, confident guy, Yeah, uh, which is good to see. Ruben, it's mad, isn't it? You missed the Europa League final due to injury. You mm. missed the Champions League final because you're out on like, you're due one, surely, aren't you? <laughs> I'm due one, man. <laughs> no, it's coming, it's coming, for sure. It's definitely coming, it's definitely coming. No, yeah, 
um, kind of just mi just missing out at the last hurdle. That new season's coming around quick, isn't it? Very quick, so, <laughs> yeah. as I said, very quickly, so hopefully it goes well for us too. What's it going to mean to you to play in front of a, a packed house at, at the bridge once again? No, it'll be amazing, I think, to see everybody. I think that we've all missed the crowd. It's obvious, I think, that every time our team does score a goal or a player scores a goal, there's no crowd to celebrate with, so the players and you don't hear the screams and the shouts every time something happens. So I think that when we see the crowd back and, as I said, we won the Champions League as well, so they'll know that. And obviously we're all going to be delighted to present it to them and show them. So hopefully when we get there, it's just a game where we go out there full guns blazing and hopefully win the game. And Ruben, you've always had a fantastic bond, haven't you, with, yeah. with the Chelsea fans? It's going to be something special, isn't it? Yeah, it's been there? a while. Yeah, two years since I played in front of the Chelsea fans. So, um, yeah, an amazing feeling to touch that pitch again with, with the full house. We look forward to it. Finally, boys, before I let you go, fancy challenge? Yeah. Yep. Let's do it. OK, for today's challenge, the boys are going to have a go at the uh, the Maradona 7. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Over to you, boys. Can I, can I just say before? Yeah. I've done it off camera. Just yeah, so have I, but yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you have to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. You've set bit, yourself yeah. up now. <laughs> okay, okay. No pressure, bro. Are you ready? Always ready, mate. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay, no, no, wait a <laughs> No, keep that. <laughs> Ooh, no. <laughs> it's because I've got trainers. Got if I had boots on, it would be done. I know. Quick. Oh, we ain't got to be done right quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit my face. Yep. Yeah. Right, we could be this here for a while. Awesome. Go on, Cal. Over Cal. to you, mate. Have a go. Don't, Over to don't, you, Rubes. Don't put the camera on me. Uh, Having another go, Rubes? No, no, that's it. Are you done? No, what do you mean? <laughs> that's it. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, Lee, he's got to do it. You can't leave until he does it. <laughs> Rubes. <laughs> no, nah, he's got to do it. Go on, Rubes. Come one on, Rubes. Come on, bro. One We're all with you. We know you can do it. Just one more, bro. You can do it. Look at him. No, just. We're not going to let him get away with that, are you? Smart. There you go, mate. Go on, one more go, mate. You've done it already, bro. Yeah, I know. It's nice. Bang. Bang. Yep. Yes, that's it. There we go! Yeah. Uh, that's it, see? Never in <laughs> doubt. Well played. Brilliant. Well done.